The first type of equations we are going to study is called convection diffusion equations. The reason we are studying this equation, partial u, partial t, plus a big U, which is different from the small u, partial u, partial x, equal to kappa partial square u, partial x square, plus a f. So this is the convection diffusion equation. This equation has sufficient variation and complexity that it can be a back of the envelope model for a lot of physical problems. So not only because it's useful, but also it is amenable to not only numerical methods, but also analytical methods. And the fact that it is amenable to analytical methods makes it a very good introductory differential equation for us to solve using numerical methods and then compare the result to solutions using analytical methods. And by doing that, we can understand how accurate our numerical solution is and how does the accuracy vary as we change different numerical schemes different discretizations. So, for example, in thermal engineering, this U can be used to describe the temperature of the temperature distribution over the spatial domain and over time. So an interesting example I want to give is uh, the bathtub problem. So in 2016, uh, I, I participated in this international contest of mathematical modeling when I was an undergraduate student, and I've been following all these problems in the later years. The problem this year is quite interesting. It asks about a person in a bathtub. So he just wants to relax and uh, having a very hot bathtub. But the temperature, of course, becomes slowly decreases as he relaxes. So he wants to keep the same temperature. And by doing that, he can turn on the faucet, which dumps hot water into the bathtub, and then shut it down uh, by his will. And he can drain the water from the bathtub. So the question for the mathematical contest of modeling is, how should he waste as little water as possible while maintaining a comfortable and uniform temperature distribution. So that's an interesting question. And of course, uh, to me, naturally, the, the appropriate answer to that is solving partial differential equations. And this one is a perfect model for that problem. Because we are going to see later, this term can be used to model how the temperature is going to go from non-uniform to more and more uniform as time evolves. And this term, the convection term, is going to describe the evolution of the temperature due to the bulk flow of water through the bathtub. And this term is going to describe how much heat you are losing through evaporation and conduction uh, to the outside of the world. And this, this term describes the evolution time derivative of the temperature due to a combination of the rest of the terms. So this is one application of this equation. Other applications include in environmental engineering. The same equation is used to describe the concentration of pollutant. Some of you are working in the aviation and the environment lab, is that right? And uh, uh, you may be interested in how pollutants in the atmosphere is carried by convection, which is this term, and diffusion, which is this term, and sources and sinks of pollutants. This is generation of the pollutants by cars, power stations, and the removal of the pollutants by rainfall, for example. And in petroleum engineering, a very similar equation can be used to describe the fraction of water or oil uh, in a reservoir. 
And in financial engineering, the same equation can be described uh, the price of an option. So the diverse applications. A limiting case. So let's study a few limiting cases of this equation. OK, so, so first of all, when the u is equal to 0, and f is equal to 0, this is just a partial u, partial t, equal to kappa, partial square u, partial x squared. That's called heat equation, because it describes the evolution of temperature over a stationary solid object. The second case is when kappa is equal to 0, f is equal to 0. The equation becomes partial u partial t plus big U times partial u partial x equal to 0. That is linear advection equation that describes the evolution of a field driven by a constant wind field. And when both uh, when both u is equal to zero and time goes to infinity, the equation becomes kappa partial square u partial x square plus f equal to zero. So time goes away. That equation is called Poisson's equation. It describes the equilibrium state of certain physical phenomena like elasticity and uh, uh, diffusion.